Dogs Don't Do Ballet by Anna Kemp My dog is not like other dogs. He doesn't do dog stuff like weeing on lamp posts or scratching his fleas or drinking out of the toilet. If I throw him a stick, he looks at me like I'm crazy. So I have to fetch it myself. No, my dog likes music and moonlight and walking on his tiptoes. You see, my dog doesn't think he's a dog. My dog thinks he's a ballerina. When I get ready for ballet class, he looks longingly at my tutu and ballet shoes and I just know he is dreaming of his name in lights. Dad, I say, can Biff come too? He loves ballet. Not a chance, says Dad. Dogs don't do ballet. Then one Saturday on my way to class, I get a funny feeling. A funny feeling that I am being watched. A funny feeling that I am being followed. When Miss Polly is teaching us a new routine, I think I see something peeking in at the window. Something with a wet nose. Something with a tail. Right, girls, says Miss Polly. Who's going to demonstrate first position? But before anyone can step forward, there is a loud bark from the back of the hall and something furry rushes to the front. What is this? asks Miss Polly, peering over her glasses. This, I say, is my dog. Well, take it away at once, says Miss Polly, wrinkling up her nose. Dogs don't do ballet. My poor dog stops wagging his tail and his ears droop down at the ends. I take my dog home and give him a bowl of doggy doughnuts, but he won't touch them. He just stays in his kennel for days and days and at night he howls at the moon. For my birthday, I get tickets for the Royal Ballet. Can Biff come too? I ask Dad. He loves ballet. My dog pricks up his ears and wags his tail. No, says Dad. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Dogs don't do ballet. As we wait for the bus, I think about my poor old dog, all on his own, howling at the moon. Then I get a funny feeling. A funny feeling that I am being watched. A funny feeling that I am not alone. The ballet is magical! The orchestra plays as the prima ballerina dances and prances and twirls and whirls and skips and... Oh no! She trips! Disaster! Calamity! It's all over! I think. But somebody doesn't think it's over. No, somebody thinks it's just beginning. Somebody with big black eyes. Somebody with pointy ears. Somebody wearing my tutu. The audience gasps. It's a dog, someone shouts. Dogs don't do ballet. My dog turns bright red and looks at his feet. That's what I've always said, Dad mutters. But then the orchestra starts to play. And my dog dances like no dog has ever danced before. Plié, jeté, arabesque, pirouette. He's as light as a sugar puff, as pretty as a fairy. The audience can't believe it. Hooray! I shout. That's my dog! When the music stops, my dog gives a hopeful curtsy and blinks nervously into the spotlight. The theatre is so very quiet that you could hear a bubble pop. Then the lady in the front row stands up. It's a dog! She shouts. Biff's ears start to droop again. A dog that does ballet, 
she adds. Bravo! Suddenly, the whole audience cheers and throws bunches of roses. My dog glows pink with happiness. I don't believe it, says Dad, shaking his head. Biff is a ballerina after all. See, I say proudly, ruffling Biff's ears. Dogs do do ballet. Bravo, Biff. <laughs>